If you want to capture the contents of your screen not just as images but videos, you've come to the right place. Keep watching to learn how to create videos the easy way with Eshampoo Snap 12. If you've never used Snap 12, you may want to check out our other video, Eshampoo Snap 12 quickly create screenshots before you continue. You'll find the link down in the description. Let's get started. Snap auto launches with Windows and provides easy feature access through the magic eye at the top of the screen. I can move my mouse over the eye to expand it and click the record button to initialize the video capture. The settings dialog allows me to select the desired video quality as well as the capture method. I can, for example, capture a rectangular area, an application window, or the entire display area. I can also select an audio source or record a silent video. Once I hit start, my settings are applied and I can then select the area to capture. The selection process depends on the selected capture method in the previous dialog. Here are the most important methods. Fixed region. This allows me to move a fixed size selection rectangle with a mouse and left click to apply the selection. Rectangular region. Here, I can draw the selection rectangle with my mouse, similar to capturing images. Primary monitor. In this case, the entire display area is captured. Now that I've made my selection, I can start capturing. Snap provides a floating tool window that contains essential controls like Start, Pause, Abort, as well as optional visual settings like the ability to include the mouse pointer in my video. Note that the tool window will also be captured if it is located inside the selected area. You can drag to move it to a safe location if available. Let's record a short video. Once I hit Stop Capture, the recording stops and the new video opens in Snap's integrated video editor. Video editing tools are located on the left. The video preview is in the center and autoplays once every time a new video is created. Let's make a cut. First, I click Add Time Range for Cutting at Current Position. This creates a selection range starting at the current playback position and ending a few seconds later. All footage inside the selection will be deleted. I can drag the start and end markers to adjust the length of the selection range. I can also position the playback marker at the end and hit the button again to create another selection range that allows me to trim the end of the video. Once I click Cut Video Now, the selected portions will be cut from the video. I also have the option to append existing footage to my video provided the existing files match the format and resolution of the current video. Functions to save, export and share my video are located in the toolbar on the right. I can click Keep Video to save my video along with the changes. Export video to other location allows me to save my video in AVI or WMV format.
I can even turn it into an animated GIF using the button just below. That's it for today. As you've seen, capturing and editing videos is easy with Snap12. For more information, see the description below this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.